video and so for today's YouTube video we're going to um review Adobe XD. Okay, so if you guys don't know, Adobe's a big company where there's like literally everything uh, from Adobe Illustrator to Photoshop to Premiere Pro. I mean, Adobe Premiere Pro. Things, everything. You know, there's literally every single thing is in there. I think I kind of wanted to review Adobe, and I'm going to start off with a free product that Adobe provides which is called Adobe XD. Basically Adobe XD is a free product that Adobe has given to the people um, to kind of test out and see if they like it and that's how it kind of engages people to get Photoshop and Premiere Pro. If you guys like this video make sure you hit that thumbs up so that I can do more Adobe reviews with maybe Photoshop or Premiere Pro. And if you guys have a certain app from Adobe that you want me to use or review let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, let's get started. Okay, uh, wait. As this takes, it takes a second. Uh, so, this is kind of the interface you'll get to see. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this out like that. Um, so it's pretty nice and simple and looks very clean if you can look at it and you see. You can see that, you know, I have this right here. Oh. There. This is actually a thumbnail for my series that's coming up, which is called Algebra 2, and it's the first episode. And you can see I was using it, I was just playing around and seeing if I like to make thumbnails on this because one of the excellent, great features about this is you can make websites. Or, I mean, you can make thumbnails. For many different things like YouTube, websites, Twitter, Instagram, everything um, with Ender one thing. Now, all you are probably wondering, um, what if you want to have cool plugins? Well, <laughs> Adobe over here is just 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 show, shocking everything up. Adobe over here is just 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 show shocking everything up, shakalaka. But they are giving so many free plugins. These are all free plugins um, that are given by Adobe, and they will let you um, use it and interact and help make cool content for websites, for things, just everything. You can see there's so much of really just things that could help. <coughs> Excuse me, there's from simple things like decimals, <laughs> um, to selection, to portion, to split screen, to study style, you know, user images, typist, um, use, you know, lytics, world ready, and what widgets for XD. There's just so much endless possibilities just freely using Adobe XD. They give you really fun plugins, um, to use to make your experience more customizable, and that's just a really amazing thing. Now, right now I have downloaded two that I'm using for this one right here. It's Stark, which, yeah, that, I'll show you both of these on here. Stark and UI Faces. So, here is wonderful Stark. Basically, this one is all about design and build products that are accessible to eth ethnically inclusive, exclusive. And then UI Faces are more generated avatars for design mockups right in XD. Now, I downloaded this like two days ago, so I don't really know how to use these plugins. <laughs> so I, I need to work on that still. Um, but it's very flexible. You can see it's like one little template thingy. You kind of move it around <laughs> up here. So like your um, like how zoom in you want it or like how unzoom in you want it. You can kind of see really like just pixels <laughs> of things. <laughs> um but yeah and so then you can access really fun things we're actually gonna make one let's make it for a website you click on it okay it's, it takes a second to generate sometimes so i have a blank document right here for us to try out so let's use a shape 
I like shapes, right? So let's make a square, a this big of a square. And down here, you can kind of see the fill and the border. So I want to make this square green. So like, I want to make a green screen, right? Then you want to go and make sure you are having the select tool open. And then you can go, oh, I'm on the, oopsies. Oops, oops, I'm not on select. You can select it and then you can kind of use it as your mock thing. So if I wanted to make a green screen, here it is. Um, and I can repeat my grid. So it does that and then unrepeat it. There we go. You can like add shadows to it. So if it's more in like, ignore my birds, I'm sorry. Like that and then you can do like a seven shadow and then maybe like a eight shadow here and like. Zero. I don't know. You can make a really cool shadow with it. I still have not learned how to. <laughs> but long as you can do much more things with it. Now, one thing I'm going to do is let's go up here and let's do, let's see. Let's go to, <laughs> let's search up Tastic Talks, okay? Search of that and then let's go here. Okay. Right here, it looks like there is a Vitastic Talks logo. I'm gonna go and download that bad boy. So let's go ahead and import this in here. Oh, well, I imported it into the square. <laughs> Oopsies. <laughs> let's re import it. Oh, there we go. And basically, I, as you can see, have added a thing or a picture in here. So if I really wanted a picture to be here now, you can see it's not the best quality since I got it from the internet. If you have personal things, it's just going to be 10 times much better to put up on here. And this is me creating things with pictures. You can also make physical pictures using this as well, which I'll show you maybe in another video. Um, you can see how the white on this and the white on this are very <laughs> not the similar color, similar colors. So what you can do is you can make a square. Yes make a square, select it, you click the fill, and there's this little like thingy right there that's going to let you have this zoom in prompt. You want to get the backspace co of that color. Exactly, and make sure this is always up, but for this, for a second, I need to go ahead and just make sure it's all the way extended, like that. Um, things out of the grid space will not uh, obviously pop up, um, but... There. Okay. <laughs> and then we can do that. And oh, what? No. Oof. Okay, I'll just re. -put them. There we go. I just messed up. Ah, uh, see, this is what you, this is what you guys get with a noob at this. Don't ask where I learned the term noob. <laughs> you don't want to know. Okay, I was literally, um. I was watching um, a gaming a gaming YouTube video today, and I learned noob. Okay, why is it? Oh, there's no physical square. I totally forgot about that. Yikes! Oh no. Physical square. There we go. Get this. Prompt it right, right there, and then click. Oh, well, click on this physical square, and it's it disappeared again. Perfect. Do that. Do that. Kind of prompt it up like that. There we go. Click fill. I know I'm like way behind. There we go. Like that. And so now I can bring this bad boy. Put it put it up here. And oh, there's more still. Oh there. And put it up here now. And you can see. The background is the same background, so you the best thing is you don't have to like try to mix and match colors like that selective tool color thing is super incredible so that you can make things look just a little more professional right off the bat like that. Um okay, sorry, I need that I need it. <laughs> I need to get coffee. Uh, um I'm gonna also do like text. Sorry if my voice is low, I just realized that. It's because <laughs> I don't know why, but like it's not like I'm sick, but like my voice is just very low hitting today. I don't know why everyone's saying that, so yeah. Um, but you can get text, so let's say 
Hello, this is, I don't know, we'll just do Tastic Talks, season two. Ha, hint, hint, season two of Tastic Talks is going to come very soon, so keep your eyes open for that. Uh, and yes, I really mean it, keep your eyes open for it. Um, it's coming, I'll, I'll do more details on another video, so stay tuned. Uh, maybe we can do like 200. Okay, uh, so do that. I really wish, I think, I, I probably bet there's a plugin where it can identify the font, but right now I can't, I don't know the font I've used. Uh, so until I ever figure it out, I'm just gonna use that. There we go, fill, do that, and then I just like to like borderize it and make it a little more bolder. And it looks so good. You can see that the image is super blurry compared to the season two, and it's just because I, really incrementally increased the image um so you do have to kind of look out and make sure you're not pixelating again i got it from the web so it's not gonna look the best unless you i have the physical one but i have to like dig through to find it so yeah um but you know there so i made this nice little art piece thingy you can remove squares after a lot of people like to have like a green square on the back or they do their background they put a square so they can like focus on the piece they're doing and then removing you do it how you want it okay um but that's kind of cool and then you can go into more things like this please select one or more shapes oh i need to select some shapes <laughs> let's select this shape and then I can click ui faces and i can do faces so it looks like this is making a face. Okay, let's make a little face now. So this is a plugin you guys can get for free. It's just called UI Faces. So you can pick the age. Oh my god, okay. So I'm going to make the age to be 10 through, let's do 15. Young. Uh, let's make a male first. And we'll make a... Okay, and then let's do happiness or neutral. We'll make it happy. Let's make the hair color be black and then advance randomize or optimize. Let's do randomize. Apply faces. Oh wait, please enter numbers between 18 and 99. Oh, okay. 19 and 20. <laughs> yeah. Okay, summary. The filter combination did not return any faces. Try modifying the filters. Okay. What else do I can put? Source unsplash pet, um random user maybe UI faces fans. Let's just do that and I'll just make this 25 make that might do it again. Let's and then let's optimize it. How does this work? <laughs> I'm having troubles. Hmm. This is hard. Harder than it looks. Alright, let's change the settings up. Let's make it male. Let's make it neutral. Let's make the hair be blonde. Uh, let's make it optimize. Oh, there we go. Oh, so this is like making a random face. I see. Okay, so we let's make it a male now. And let's make it a happy face with black hair. Oh, and then you can do like the setting. This is a random user dot me UI faces. Let's make it that source and then have it optimized. Okay, it's working. Let's see. Okay. Uh -huh. So we made something else. Someone probably random who put their face on there. I don't know. Let's try it from tiny face and do the exact same. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. Let's do it from unsplash. So I think these are... Do I have to like modify it more? Oh, I have to probably change it more. Let's make it neutral. Huh. Oh, okay. Um, so basically probably these are like sources from like different peeps that put their faces on and then you get that kind of like customizable things and then and then they like find the pay face for you. So yeah. <laughs> okay, um that was interesting. I'm still learning how to use Stark. I don't know how to use it, but let me go and do one last thing, which is let's try to download one online and then we're gonna kind of end it here. All right, let's do this one, which is called Calendar. So it's basically, you wanna click download. 
didn't work. Okay, and then you wanna all set. You now should look for a plugin. Okay, so now you go on XD, it looks like, and it's saying to go on home. Click on add ons, plugins, and then search up calendar. There we go. Oh, is it not a plugin? Oh, what is this? What are you? Hmm. All set now. All set X, you should show you plug you the plugin you're looking for. Click on add ons, okay. Okay, and plugins. Okay, did I spell it wrong or something? No, it's, it's right. Is it not called calendar? Cal. Oh, it's with an A. Did I put an E? Oh. Totally see where that came from. I'm bad. Okay. Then you can click inst install. Um, I'm so bad at spelling. <laughs> can't believe I put an E. Okay. Mm. So you now installed it. Basically, I can go back, come here, and then on this you'll pop right there so now I can make a calendar that's nice so I can pick the month perfect and I can do like Monday Tuesday whatever and like the cell size and then I made a calendar whoa nice so these are more to make like infographics I truly believe that's probably what they're used for but like there you go you have it and I think you can make it like a little more customizable so if I want to make a red or that color calendar uh let's I don't know what that color it's like darkish chocolatey let's do blue okay we'll do blue and so we can have a calendar now so if I'm like representing some sort of freaking um what is it called first or no it's a I think it's called first statistics or something. It starts with an F, I'm pretty sure. But like if I'm trying to do some sort of statistics over here, haha, <laughs> got this. Um, I'm, you know, I wish, I think I could make these a little more bigger. Um, the little letter or the letters because I cannot read that. But I think you can make your calendar. <laughs> What's this? Cell size. That's what I'm wondering. Oh, is that like, um, let's do like 100 by 30. Oh, I just made a new one. Oh, okay, that. Oh, so it's like that and that. Okay, wait, let's remake one. Let's do 100 by 100. That looks so much better. <laughs> okay, let's move that off to the side for two seconds and like take these out and re-put this. Wow, that looks much better. And then you can kind of like move it or keep it all together, or like mush it in. I don't know. I'm gonna do kind of like, kind of like that. And then, and then you can kind of move it, kind of wherever, and say like I'm representing, um, let's say, Tastic Talks, um, episode days. Okay. Perfect. Right. So I'm gonna select this bad boy. <sighs> I always hate getting the select tool and then like hmm. okay do that and then let's make it font B word because I like that font let's make this like a hundred there we go Tastic talks episodes so days right and then I could do so like we post on Fridays right so we can do this exact like color and we can change it so since uh, let's change it to just I think let's just make it plain. No, let's make it a nice little white. Oh, okay, my birds. I know my room is getting redone. There's like furniture all over the place, and I do not like recording there. And then where my birds are, I f I feel like I need to take a picture of them and put them on Instagram because I think they want some fame. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever, okay. So, and then I could pretty much, like, I did these two. So, if I want, you, you can do it. The, another thing I like about calendars, just, or this specific um, thing, is you can, like, kind of, like, 
move the blocks and kind of do your own thing with this which is cool so you can make really cool things with this bad boy that is adobe xg right there for y'all um in the links down below i'll have the download site and the page where you can get these wonderful ui kits design kits and icon thingies which uh, oh what's this okay that's that's him i have to i'm sorry <laughs> i have to Mm. Alright, it looks like it says color color blend. I'm sorry guys, but I have to do this quickly. Color blend. That looks like artist thingies over there. Oh. I um let's go home. And now let's do this. Okay. I need to try the color blend over here. Please like two items to create series of clones with a blend. <gasps> Oh my god, that's going to be so cool. Okay, so let's make one square, and then copy and do another one right there. Oh, and then click select. I have two squares now. Perfect. Same size. Let's make one red, and let's make one yellow, and then, like, I want to see them become, like, orange or something. Oh, wait, this is not one. Oopsies. There we go, and then I don't want the borders to be on any of these bad boys. Okay, let's put this right there. Let's put this, like, right there. I'm so excited. Okay, so select these two and then click color blend. Number of steps. So I can pick... Oh, let's do, like, five. Oh! Oh, my God. <laughs> that is, for sure, the best thing I've seen. You can literally make color blend so if you really 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 want like say you're making a weather report or something and you're like wanting to have like a little nice color thing of talking about how it's good to how it's <laughs> bad then you can literally do that click color blend you can do how many ever steps you want so i'm gonna make them 10 this time boom this is insane. I like I love this. I need to like download every UI kit there is and like have fun with this. But that's cool. Alright. Anyways, I think I should not get distracted again. Probably should not even pull up the page, but alright, anyways. But anyways, I hope you guys had a wonderful day. I'll have both of these links down below for you guys to click on and get it. It's all free and um it's completely safe to get it, but I would still like if you would go ask your parents if you're young, um to download it on your computer, but it's completely safe, hopefully, I, I, I mean, yeah, <laughs> so yeah, but yeah, so that's pretty much all I have to say, see you guys next time to another video, and ignore my birds, I'm sorry, bye.